What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have another video where I'll be comparing some of the top prospects in this year's 2022 NBA Draft. Today we're going to be looking at Paolo Bancaro and Jaden Ivey. We're going to be talking about how they just compare to each other physically, offensively, defensively. I'm going to give you my thoughts on who I think the better prospect is. But more importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. So make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know who you think is going to be the better NBA player. And with that being said, let's get into the video. The first thing I'll look at between the two is how they compare to each other physically. I'll start with Paolo. Paolo Bancaro is a 6'10", 240 pound power forward. Kind of fits today's modern four in terms of, of size and versatility that he can bring. Now in terms of athleticism and what Paolo can bring, Paolo is not necessarily an elite athlete. I think he's solid, he's good, but he's not the most explosive guy. And there's gonna be some questions about his foot speed. Uh, not the most explosive in traffic, not necessarily a guy who's going to be playing a ton above the rim. And so physically, uh, in terms of athleticism, average NBA athlete, I'd say. Now, what he makes up for that kind of average athleticism with is just pure size. He's 6'10", 240 pounds. He's someone who can physically play in the NBA right now. He, he's ready to play. Uh, he can bang with really anyone. I think he can handle the punishment of the, at the NBA level. And so physically, that's Paolo's big strength. It's just literally his strength and size. He, he's built to play in the NBA. Jaden Ivey, on the other hand, is a freak athlete, which is the reason why I think he physically is a better NBA prospect. He's a 6'4", 200 pound shooting guard slash point guard who may be the best athlete in this year's draft class. He's someone who I would compare his build and athleticism to someone like John Morant. To me, they're both very similar in that they kind of got that, that taller, leaner, kind of wiry, strong build to them, but they're both just extremely quick twitch athletes, very quick, very quick first step, fast in transition, explosive athletes who are very capable of playing above the rim. And that's, like I said, exactly what Jaden Ivey is. That's what John Morant is. That, I think that's kind of who he compares to well. And so, like I said, compared to Paolo, I would definitely give the edge to Jaden Ivey. I just think freak athlete, gonna be one of the best athletes in the NBA once he gets there. And so I think he wins that matchup there. Moving over to the offensive side of the ball, Paolo Bancaro is someone who I think fits today's NBA really well. I think he's a really safe offensive prospect in terms of how his game will translate to the NBA level. Paolo is someone who can do a little bit of everything on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, starting with kind of his, his strength, which I think is, he's a tough matchup. It's hard to find someone who is big enough to be able to keep him and hold his own against him in the paint. But yet you got to find someone who when Paolo faces up and faces the hoop and gets a little more out on the perimeter, someone who's capable of moving his feet and staying with him. And so Paolo's a, a tough matchup. What I like about him is he's not afraid to put his back to the basket and punish smaller guys. I think where he's really best is kind of in that mid-range area it'll be where he can face up and get in that triple threat position and make decisions out of there. He's very capable of knocking down mid-range jumpers. He's very capable of putting the ball on the floor one or two times from that mid-range area and getting to the hoop there. And then I think his perimeter game is gonna develop at the NBA level. He's someone who I think is gonna be very capable of knocking down standstill threes right away. He's gonna be really dangerous in pick and pop situations. Uh, it's just gonna be hard, like I said, to find a matchup for him uh, and finding someone that can guard him. And if that three ball becomes really consistent, uh, then he'll be a very scary player. What I really thought was underrated about his game actually this last year at Duke was his playmaking ability. Every time I watched him, it seemed like he had just a couple of really nice passes that I wasn't really expecting from him. I didn't know he really had in his game. And so that's an area of his game I think is underrated. And I think it could almost get better at the NBA level once he gets better players around him and has more space to operate. Offensively, Jaden Ivey is gonna be an interesting projection. He's someone who right now is best suited for an up-tempo type system, getting out on the fast break and running there. He's someone who, 
at the end of his freshman year, he finished that year really well and had high expectations coming into his sophomore year this last year, and he lived up to them. And he showed that he got better on the offensive side of the ball. More was expected out of him. More defenses were focused on him. And he still was able to produce and get better. The big question mark with Jaden Ivey is going to be his jump shot. And that's something that he made a huge jump in uh, from freshman to sophomore year. Shot at about 36%. Has always been a good free throw shooter, shooting in the mid-70s. Has good form. And so I think the jump shot is something that is just going to be a work in progress. It's going to be something that, that takes reps. It's going to take time. But I think he can develop into a very above average to good NBA three-point shooter. And so that's the big question mark about him. The upside with Jaden Ivey is that he could eventually uh, become kind of a combo guard, someone who can run some point for you. He's got a good handle. He can get downhill. He can get to the hoop. He can play off the ball. You can put him on the ball. And so there's just a lot of different things you can do with him at that guard position. He showcases flashes of playmaking ability. He showcases some ability to generate his own jump shot. And so there's a lot to like with him. I think he's still a little raw, but there's a ton of upside with Jaden. I think Paulo Bancaro is the safer option offensively. I think Paulo is going to be an 18 and 7 type guy. Jaden Ivey, I think, has higher superstar potential on the offensive side of the ball. In terms of defensive ability, this one's really not even close. Uh, Paulo just, frankly, is not a good defender. And so that gives the matchup to Jaden Ivey. Paulo didn't show much effort on the defensive side of the ball at Duke. He's someone who I think is physically limited on the defensive side of the ball, just not very quick laterally. It's uh, going to be hard for him to guard guys out on the perimeter. I think his best case scenario is going to be matching up with, with other guys, big guys, or guys who maybe aren't on the ball as much. I think he's going to struggle uh, getting switched on to. Jaden Ivey, on the other hand, modern day defender, long, lanky, athletic, can guard both guard spots. Uh, if the effort stays on that end of the floor, can be a very good defender. And so I just, that side of the ball, it's not even close. So overall, who is the better player out of the two or the better prospect? Well, I think that's, this is an interesting question because to me, I think Jaden Ivey has a much higher upside than Paolo Bancaro. I think he has a better superstar potential, and I think he can be just a better overall player than Paolo, but I think Paolo is a much safer pick than Jaden Ivey. Paolo is someone who I think can come in, score the ball, he's gonna get you six, seven rebounds a game, he's gonna do some playmaking, and if he develops that aspect of the game, then maybe that takes him to another level. Uh, but like I said, I think he's a, he's a safe pick, whereas Jaden Ivey has just a ton of upside, and if he goes to the right situation, I think he can flourish and become a borderline star player in, this, in the league. And so I think I would go with Jaden Ivey if I had a higher pick, just much higher ceiling. But if I was someone who, who wanted to play it safe, then I'm going Paolo Bancaro. And so those are just my thoughts on it. Leave your thoughts on who the better player is down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later.